guys, this week we're driving the 2017 Subaru BRZ. Let's check it out. So if you look at the exterior, obviously this thing screams sports car. It's small and that's very noticeable from looking at the exterior. Um, and it's sporty, it's meant to be sporty. And again, obviously looking at the exterior, you've got a longer front end, front end, front engine. You got rear wheel drive. You got this neat little spoiler on this one and you have big dual exhaust. And of course this car isn't without its flaws. Um, yes, you get this nice two liter boxer engine under the hood and it's got 205 horsepower and 156 foot pounds of torque. And that sounds good, but it's just not a ton of power for a sports car. It's not that it's not fun to drive, but you don't get a ton of power out of it, which for some people is fine. For some people they're looking for a little bit more. One of the most requested things we do is not just fit in the car, but fit in the back seats. This is supposed to be a two plus two car, but I'll tell you this right now, it's more like a two plus one, three seater, maybe even a two seater if you got two full adults in the front. There's really not that much room in the back seats, which I guess I can demonstrate. No, there's no way I'm getting back there. Now we did get this thing out with uh, two of the kids yesterday, one in the front seat, one in the back, and we managed, but they're definitely uncomfortable. So this is definitely uh, more of a two-seater car with some shelves behind you. Um, but in a pinch, if you got somebody kind of shorter in the front seat and going in the back kind of shorter, um, you can manage. <laughs> So inside this car is definitely more of a minimalistic um, approach to the vehicles. It's not bad, it's nice. You get suede um, seats, you get some leather here and there. It's minimalistic. You get a basic radio, basic air con, um, push button start is nice, but it's really about this manual transmission, this steering wheel right here, and the three pedals on the floor. Now obviously this is a sports car where it's made to shine is in the handling, uh, the driving dynamics. And that is where it shines. It doesn't have a ton of power, but the power that it has is used well, especially at low speeds, to maneuver tight corners. And we're back here on our little racetrack. And this thing is really probably the most fun car that you can have right back here. You want to know where your money is going to? It's this right here. You're not getting this. Um, about any other car at this price point. <laughs> I mean, it truly is just so much fun to drive. So if you're a driver, you want that go-kart feel in a car, 
this is really this is this and a Miata is basically where you're gonna go to get that um, the Miata is nice the MX-5 is nice but um, it's a lot smaller it's smaller than this car there's other compromises that you make both of these have kind of the same um, same compromises highway speeds you're revving at like 3500 rpm almost um, just going down the highway fuel economy is good unless you're really pushing on it um, and the price point the price point is really good with this car so this is a 2017 brz limited edition and this thing bases at 27 645 the only thing we have in here is an optional performance package that gives you the brembo brakes um front front struts rear shock absorbers 17 inch wheels so our total is 29 660 and if you compare that to a comparable um, mx5 the mx5 is probably going to be right around there or a little bit more and this thing like i said you get a little bit more room not really any more creature comforts but there's not a lot of creature comforts in the mx5 either i really like the brz i really like the frs i like the design i like the interiors i like um you know it, it needs more power but for with the power that it has it delivers it really well for things like what we just did so it's a really fun car to drive even though it doesn't have a ton of power if you need a ton of power go look at something like the hyundai genesis uh, mustang camaro the muscle cars uh, those are going to give you that that power rear wheel drive but this thing is going to give you the precise handling um, and uh, just absolutely fun to drive factor <music> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, please leave us a thumbs up, uh, comment down below, let us know what you think about this car, and subscribe to us if you're not already. Thanks for watching.